I think they're lucky to have you as a parent and think so open-minded. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, did you travel to a lot of festivals with doing this movie? Uh, not yet, because the movie have a different uh, distribution path uh, because uh, it went to theater and DVD and uh, streaming in Italy the same day. We, we made a crowdfunding and released the, uh, the same day in all the kind of uh, media. And we were focused on in Italy for uh, 10 months about it. Then we started just now the festival way. So it's a different. Usually you go to festival, you try to sell and find a distribution. No, we just uh, auto distribute the movie in, in every kind of platform. What do you think about vlogging? Flogging? Vlog, vlogs. Ah, vlog. Vlogs. A lot of children since they are. Yeah, like it's like. Starting YouTube channels. Yeah. Um, it depends how, how you are, why you are blogging. Because. Uh, there's a problem, I think, about Facebook and blogging. We use a lot of Facebook for promotion, but I, sometimes I feel tired because I'm just producing uh, free context for them. So um, yes, maybe you have the dream to be famous or to have money from it, but you are just producing free stuff for something bigger. So um, yeah, it's not bad as as thing. It's like everything, like school, it's what you what you want to have from it, how to use it. For me, because maybe I'm getting old, it's really strange how what children watch on YouTube, like, uh, I don't know, you stay two hours to see someone other playing a game and talking about it. So for me, it's, uh, as, the, as a storyteller, it's just, what the hell are they watching? But I, I have to mm, understand why. For, for example, the video game, uh, the digital stuff, they have a rules inside the school. Because when someone started to take a video game, uh, what happened? It just stay alone and play. So the children all together decide that if you bring a video game, you have to uh, share with the other. Otherwise, you cannot take to school. So there was a problem, and the children found uh, their solution. And I think it's a good solution. They don't say no, we cannot have a computer. That's like I cannot say no, you don't have to use YouTube. But okay. You want to have a two YouTube channel? Why? What we can have? Can we have? We want to have money. You want to be an example for the other, so you can work on it. You find your real passions. Right? Mm. You're encouraging your children to find their passions. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so the communication uh, um, changed a lot from uh, someone that came from a democratic education, like I told you before, because you are more able to communicate with the others, not. Usually at school, if you say something against your uh, teacher, you, you can be punished. Okay, so you learn to stay quiet and say, ah, bullshit, ah, bullshit. It's really different approach that you have with the other. So they have, uh, what's the most difference that I see from normal, normal, sorry for this horrible name, and democratic school is the um, skill that they have uh, talking with the other. Yeah, because they can, uh, you decide, uh, that's the difference. You, maybe you are homeschooling and then you decide that you want to graduate, uh, I don't know, in, in something. And then you as a parent say, okay, if you want to graduate, you have to have an exam and do, it, and do this thing. I, I, yes. Uh, no, no, you just go to school and then make an exam. I, I, a story that I take that is not in documentary is this guy that was homeschooling until he was, 15, and he decided to be a, to work in the kitchen of a restaurant. Uh, chef, <laughs> that's the word. Uh, I want to be a chef. Then they say, okay, then you have to go to this school and pre he prepare his exam. And in one year, she prepared everything he needs because he was really, for, okay, I want to do this. So it's not, I have to do this. <sighs> like me, I, take, I try to have the better marks because I need my motorcycle to go, not because I really want to learn or go to this kind of school. Marks, uh, vote, valutation. No, I mean, my parents told me, if you want, if you will have good grades, you, you, I will buy you a motorcycle. A motorcycle. Okay, 
so you study for the motto, not because you are curious. But if you decide, I, I want to be a chef, you just focus on it, and maybe you can stay uh, all the day and night to do it, because you want it, because you learn that you can follow your, your idea. Uh, it's really different, I don't know if, um, if you are in school and you want to be a musician, you just have to go to school, make your homeworks, and then when you have time, you play your instruments. The difference is you, if you in a democratic school, I know the, a guy that I met in, uh, in the Netherlands, he went to a democratic school, he just studied music and Italian, and he's 18, and he's an incredible piano player. Maybe he lacked in mathematics, but he don't care right now. It's, I don't know if it's the best, but it's, I think, something interesting to just use all your time for your passion. Do you also have a, a musician, a piano player, who graduated at 11, <laughs> uh, 18 years old? She finished high school and university. She was uh, mm -hmm. a really brilliant piano player, and she, well, in Germany, not in Romania. Yeah, but. <laughs> but everyone is have his own story. The problem is that usually you have one problem, one solution: education, school, education, uh, normal, normal school. But what I try to say with this documentary is there's not just one way. Just listen to your child and choose what's the best. Maybe for no, for many child, this kind of school is the best because they need to be pushed. Maybe or they need this uh, kind of environment. Uh, the two verbs are traveling and put doubts on people.